reality and vibrational reality interesting isn't it and what's the criteria of reality for most people it's what I can see it's what other people agree on this is reality It's the polls we take it's the history that's written that was reality but vibrational reality is every bit as substantial and when you know it but you are using your the lens to interpret it which is your emotion rather than the physical senses you need eyes to see stuff and ears to hear stuff but you don't need those physical senses to understand what's in the vortex and when you no longer try to see or hear or smell in the vortex but you just feel now you spend more time in the vortex and then the vortex must reveal itself to you in a way that all of your physical senses can then interpret it that's the best way of saying that thank you so I feel that right now in this moment this is the perfect place in the universe to be without exception it's just a feeling that I have sitting back there and and, and it, that's what we want to foster within you at all moments mm -hmm. whether mm -hmm. you're at your desk or in your car or at all moments it's the perfect place where mm -hmm. where me meets me Mm -hmm. where the physical version of me meets the energy version of me and in because of my physical willingness and focus there's no contradiction and so here we all are real time mm. delicious it is and it is as if most of the questions I had were already asked today and most of the answers were already given however I have a uh, you know individual uh, issue where I keep getting thrown out of the vortex and um, then we will never speak of that issue again <laughs> <laughs> now think about it I'm in the vortex I love being in the vortex I'm mostly in the vortex there's just this one thing that throws me out can we talk about that <laughs> why why would you ever talk about the thing that throws you out why not just let it die of its own lack of attention been trying <laughs> because you see you think that cleaning up all the issues is the is the goal it isn't getting in the vortex is the goal because the solution to that issue is already in the vortex so right. if you disregard the the ish issue or the problem and you just use any excuse in the world to get in the vortex now you just rendezvous with the solutions And that makes perfect sense and I've been attempting that and doing the best I can however it's a situation where are you telling it's it, it's something that's active that keeps showing up yes Would you like to deactivate it yes then don't talk about it ever again <laughs> <laughs> hard isn't it Ooh, but it's so juicy <laughs> or entertaining or real it's it's shouldn't I talk about things that are real yeah if you want them you want to keep them close to you talk about them but if they're annoying or troubling or painful or or anything unpleasant then let it go easy for us to say <laughs> we don't indeed. have to pay the rent <laughs> indeed and I have I have let go and I have not been talking about it but I thought I'd bring it up here because <laughs> this is the place to do that actually this isn't the place to do that no <laughs> because almost everybody else you know would have let you go there out of duty or obligation or responsibility we just love you too much thank you and you know why you feel so bad when you think about it because you go there and your inner being doesn't so you know what the issue is the issue isn't what you think it is the issue is I go places that I don't take my inner being that's the, that's the only issue that's the only issue Let, let's flesh that out let's make that fun and real mm -hmm. Abraham there are lots of things I think about where my inner being goes and oh it's so fun I feel so tuned in but there's this one subject that my inner being won't go with me and I'd like to talk about that now 
Interesting, isn't it? Mm. In other mm. words, it's just the it's just it's just you finding a way to think of something in a way that your inner being doesn't. So, if if you want to soothe it, you can you can think what you think and then think, oh, my inner being must think the opposite of that. But that's the hard way because when you're thinking what you're thinking and wondering if your inner being is thinking the opposite of that, you don't have access to what your inner being thinks about it. So it's just a cycle that just keeps you down on that subject. Mm -hmm. There are people who would say, Abraham, you are delusional or you are you are teaching you are teaching him to put his head in the sand we say no get your head out in the sun just think about things that feel good when you do there is no issue worth sacrificing the vortex for okay then I won't talk about it <laughs> so <laughs> And we think next time it surfaces and it probably will that you'll you're standing in a different place now in other words you have more resolve to distract yourself in some way have you ever been trying to go to sleep and you really want to go to sleep because you have something that you need to do in the morning and then you find yourself starting to think about something that you know will keep you awake if you think about it and you think oh I don't want to think about that well, this is the same sort of thing. In other words, it's like, I, I don't want to go there. Do you, do, you ever, do you ever get together? It's usually with family members who know stories about you that you just assume they didn't talk about in front of these new people that are eating with you. <laughs> and when you start to see the conversation even move slightly in the vicinity of that subject, you try to steer it far away from that subject. You know what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. You know how to guide thoughts. You know how there are things, there are things that, that you might say that, you know, would activate a thought, which would activate a thought and take you right down that road. You know what they are. We're just talking about directing your mind to your advantage, you see, and it's always your advantage to move in the direction of the vortex. And it's always your disadvantage to move in opposition to it. And once you've got that down, then, then everything else is simple. Hmm. Okay. Well, it's, it's an interesting example, but, um, okay, we'll go with that. <laughs> well, you know why we chose you? We chose no. you because we know what's going on hmm. and we know what's in your vortex and we know that your desire is strong enough and we know that your confidence in what we teach is strong enough. Mm -hmm. We knew that you would have the willpower with our suggestion to not go there mm -hmm. for now. Mm -hmm. And we knew that there was no greater conversation that we could have than for you to resist the temptation of something that usually calls you and to stay in the vortex anyway. And there is not a person in this room who doesn't have something that they would like to talk about that they know darn well is out of the vortex. In other words, everybody relates, don't you? Don't you? In fact, some of them are still wondering why we were unwilling to go there. And a lot of people are rethinking, raising their hands. And commonly, it's annoying for someone like you to withstand our determination and receive the benefit of maintaining the vibration to the best of your uh, advantage only to hear us later let someone talk about some issue mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. don't let that annoy you <laughs> <laughs> because this was about you and us in other words this was about who we know you to be and what we know to be of the greatest advantage because words don't teach words don't teach but you'll never forget this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. And you'll never forget that. <laughs>